If you're Nigerian, you've probably heard people refer to every sausage roll as gala or every noodle as indomie. Well, that's kind of how every cryptocurrency is Bitcoin. You see, Bitcoin is a brand of cryptocurrency. Like, gala is a brand of sausage roll. But what is cryptocurrency? Cryptocurrency is a combination of two words, crypto and currency. Crypto, which could mean cryptic, encrypt or secure, and currency, which could mean money. But what is Bitcoin and why is it the most popular cryptocurrency? Introduced on the 31st of October in 2008, Bitcoin is the first ever completely uncontrolled digital currency and it uses cryptographic encryptions to enable transactions between two people without any intermediary or any interference. In this video, I'll be focusing on five major highlights of Bitcoin before I give my overall verdict. So don't go anywhere and let's get to it. Firstly, the miners. These guys make the entire Bitcoin system work. And without them, you can argue that there is no Bitcoin. So who are the miners and what is their role? Well, miners like gold miners are mining or searching or hypothetically digging for Bitcoin. But instead of actually digging, they're solving very complex math problems with very high and expensive computers. But they also ensure that the transactions are properly matched and they verify every transaction on the Bitcoin network and they get rewarded for it. A typical Bitcoin miner would have his computer put on a network. The network then decides at random among many other Bitcoin miners who gets to solve a problem. Once a miner solves a problem, he gets rewarded for it. The transaction goes through, everyone wins and this is what makes the system so unique. Okay, so you know about Bitcoin mining, but what other ways do people earn Bitcoin and where are they stored? Well, there are numerous ways you can earn Bitcoin and the most popular way is through mining as we've explained before. A second way of earning Bitcoin is trading with real money. So this is more of a stock exchange style of earning Bitcoin and it's one of the most popular ways also. So the way most people do this is through arbitrage. This is buying Bitcoin when the prices are low and then selling them when the prices are high. Another way of earning Bitcoin is getting paid for a service you rendered online. So let's say you're a freelancer or you have an online business. You can accept Bitcoin as a means of payment just like PayPal or many others. Another way of earning Bitcoin is through lending. You can lend Bitcoins to either someone in need who would pay you back with interest or you can deposit it into a Bitcoin bank, kind of like a real bank to get interest on your deposit. Now to do all of these, you need a wallet to store your Bitcoin and spend from it. There are many sites you can create a Bitcoin wallet from, but one I mostly encountered was Coinbase. Um, there's a link in the description if you want to open an account with Coinbase. And in the course of making this video, I also encountered a Nigerian Bitcoin wallet site. Links are in the description if you want to check that out. To clear things up, the wallet is basically a hash value generated at random and assigned to a user. The user gets a private key and a public key and the private key basically signs or verifies any Bitcoin moving out of the wallet and this is obviously kept private at all times. And then the public key is what is used to receive money into your account. Kind of like an account number for a real bank, but a public key for a Bitcoin account. Now you know about mining Bitcoin, you know about the wallet and you know how people earn Bitcoin. How about how people spend Bitcoin? Today you can buy whole estates, book a flight and even pay for a whole variety of services online just with Bitcoin. and. It's all encrypted. Companies like Microsoft allow US based citizens to purchase content from the Windows Store, both mobile and web, with Bitcoin. Dell also even offers 10% off some of their high end PCs if you use Bitcoin with Coinbase. And that's just a small part of the whole ecosystem. Created by the Bitcoin founder Satoshi in 2008, the blockchain has been the most useful feature of Bitcoin. The blockchain is basically a way for people who don't know or trust each other to create a record of who owns what on the Bitcoin system. Technically, it's a ledger. And a ledger is basically a way of recording the amount of money received or spent. Only this time, it automatically solves the problem of double spending which you might encounter manually in a ledger. The blockchain contains the payment history of every Bitcoin in circulation. While this information is open to the public, it's also very trustworthy and secure as the blockchain actually provides information of who owns what at every stage. 
This means if you want to make a payment, your wallet proposes to the blockchain saying, hey, make my account a little emptier. So the person I'm paying allows his to get a little fuller. It's in this stage the math problems are created for the miners to solve and verify your transactions. Now, last but not least is the founder of Bitcoin, Mr. Satoshi Nakamoto, a name which is believed to be a code name. No one actually knows who he is and all those who have come up to claim they were Satoshi were kind of fake. And there's positive argument that his disappearance could have been necessary, even though he has a million Bitcoin sitting in his wallet. In 2009, Bitcoin was just over a billion dollars and right now it's worth over 13 billion dollars and counting. Although there are speculations that by 2140, Bitcoin would probably shut down just the way gold depletes. However, it doesn't seem to be a bad idea after all. So that's been it guys. If you liked this video, please leave a thumbs up. And if you have any questions for me, please let me know in the comments. If there's anything you think I missed, please let me know in the comments down below. Thank you for watching and I'll talk to you guys in the next video. Later.